What's up everybody? In this video, I'll be showing you how to longboard using a brake. I'll be using a gifted by Bride longboard for today's video. And I'm gonna teach you how to actually stop now while you're on a longboard, while you're going downhill. So it's a different concept on how to stop the longboard. Instead of using your foot brake, you're going to use the brake that's on the longboard. Right here, we're just gonna put pressure right here. You can actually loosen or tighten this depending on how fast of a brake that you want. So the first step will be practicing pushing while on the longboard and rotating your heel to use the brake and then rotating your heel back to cruise. Practice this several times to form a new habit. The next step is to now with speed, practice bending your knees and leaning back when using the brake. If you lean forward on a brake going too fast, not a good idea. So concept is leaning back, bend your knees a little bit like this in order to use the brake. Rotate, foot brake, lean back. It was awesome. Honestly, there are a lot of hills that I haven't like gone down because I don't have a brake on my manual like longboard, you know, because I'm not using an electric board here. I can't stop with a remote. So this is actually awesome because you can exercise on a longboard and now use the brake and it actually stops completely. And it's cool because now you can like be standing on your longboard doing whatever you want, putting pressure on your heel on this brake and you're not going anywhere. Like I'm pushing forward right now. And as soon as I let go, boom, it moves. I think this is awesome for like those practicing because like it's like a good safety feature for people that are practicing like being able to stop. That's awesome. Basically your foot placement now for this board needs to be near the end so that you can just rotate back. Well, the brake made me go and fall over like the momentum you can actually adjust the brake so that it doesn't like stop you so quickly so that you can do a gradual slowdown. And that way, if you're leaning back a little bit, even if you hit it really fast, you're not gonna fall off the board. So let me show you what I'm talking about. I love it, I love it. Okay, this is gonna be actually gonna be able to go down certain hills that I'm scared to go down with a regular board. And you know I had to test this out. This is me towards the end of the slope, slowing down with the brake board. Next step would be to continue to practice using the brake on the board at both slow and fast speeds. The cool thing about this is that I no longer have to worry about ruining my shoes quickly because of using a foot brake on a slope. Also, don't forget to use protective gear when learning something new. As you can tell, I'm wearing all my gear while testing the brake board. I do recommend that when you get this board, tighten, it, tighten the trucks for sure when you get them in the mail. Because as seen, I feel like for this concept of a board, it's better if it's stiffer than it is loose, but honestly, that's like preference, but I feel like it's like more stable if this board is stiff, so. And it does come with the tools, so let me like bring that off. When you get your board in the mail, you'll get this free. And also, you know, and this one, your T-tool. Along with the T-tool, it also comes with this tool in order to tighten or loosen the brakes located in the upper part of the brakes along with the Allen key tool. Now let's talk about the design of the board. I went with the Bonsai Bliss drop through brake board. Honestly, I love the color of the skate brake piece in the back of the board, a vivid sky blue. This board is made with seven ply Canadian maple with a clear grip tape on top and silver trucks. Now let's talk about the unique wheels that come with this board. These wheels gave a smooth feel for a ride and work similarly to the orangutans and it came with an arctic blue bearings from ABEC 11, which works seamlessly for speed. With the sunset design background beside tree with roots forming a part of the board, this is a beautiful design. This build is designed to withstand 30 miles per hour speeds in order to hit the slopes with ease. This is a closer look to the brakes which are now being sold separately and can be added to any longboard. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. And let me know in the comments what you think about a longboard with a brake.